is life a scramble? A relentless schedule ruled by an ever-changing to-do list. Maybe it's more like a carnival ride. Good for a few thrills and some laughs. Then the ride slows down and we all get off. And just slowly make our way to the exits. Is that the whole deal? I mean, really? I try to examine this path I'm on, and it's kind of murky and dim, but I keep wanting to know more. I keep coming back with this same sense of urgency. Not the bearded old man in the clouds. I want to know the God of the Big Bang. The one that science can tell me about. Now, for God to be God, he has to work through all cultures and all religions and all disciplines. And that includes science. Science is the common language that helps us translate what was said by mystics and prophets two or three thousand years ago into something that we can understand and use today. And that's what I want to make a film about. Now, science tells us that everything begins with energy. So, let's start there. And instead of seeing ourselves as flesh and blood, let's see ourselves as very complex energy bodies. First of all, we know that our senses, our input sensors, are very limited. And we can see this pretty quickly if we think about our eyes and think about what if our eyes were sensitive down into the infrared portion of the spectrum or up into the x-ray portion of the spectrum. We would see a totally different version of our world. It's all just filtered by our senses and reassembled by our consciousness. And if you're energy and I'm energy and we are energy bodies, maybe the questions we should be asking are things like, Okay, how does this energy become stuff in the first place? And once it becomes stuff, how does it become alive and then intelligent and self-aware? Well, part of the answer to those questions has to do with the fact that energy travels in wave patterns. And as those wave patterns begin to interact, things begin to form, sort of like a hologram. Now, my sense is that if we follow that back to its logical beginning, we'll find a source for all of that energy. God, in other words. An interesting aspect of energy is the more organized it becomes, the more powerful it becomes as well. And we can see this in the difference between the light from a flashlight and the light from a laser. Or in the difference between a regular nail and a nail that's magnetized. It's all just a matter of organized energy. Now, if we look at that and we think of ourselves as energy bodies, all of a sudden, we start to sound surprisingly like the ancient mystics and teachers. This has some pretty astounding implications, as you might guess. But in order to get into it any deeper, I really need to make this film. And I know there are a lot of people out there that grapple with this idea of God versus science, or religion versus science. And these are two systems of understanding that are not really mutually exclusive. And you folks that grapple with these notions, you're the folks that I want to make this film with. So please take a look at my premiums that I have offered over here. 
and see if there's a level that you feel comfortable contributing at. Believe me, every dollar is greatly appreciated in this. I really believe that if we do this together, we can make a film that changes this conversation. And I'm looking forward to making this film with you. Thank you very much. Thank you.